Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 2! I'm your host with the most, Christopher Brown 1988 how do you all do? Last time we got to grips with some of the controls, and now we are now seeing if Cypher knows anything about the mysterious thief who's going around stealing everybody's... Uh, oh! Familiar faces! To any Final Fantasy fans! Thieves! That was low, you know? Oh yeah? Nice comeback there, Blondie. What'd you say? Cypher! Uh, you can give us back the... now. Yeah, you're the only ones who would take it, you know? What? That was undeniable proof that we totally owned you, lamers. So, so what did you that's do? that's it. Burn it? Huh, <laughs> not that we need some to prove that you're losers. Replay. <laughs> now you're talking. Ooh, oh, we can take him. Oh, we can take him. I guess if you get on your knees and beg, maybe I'll let it slide. Wait. Roxas? <laughs> Roxas, what are you doing? Roxas! Wait a second. Ooh, clubs! Charge! Now we gotta do another tutorial. How many more? Now comes the fun bit. Now you've got a choice already in the game before you do anything. Now, three different weapons. Obvious you can only pick one of them. So let's take a closer look at them. The first one is a standard club used in struggle battles. It's a lightweight, easy to swing. And that one is offense. This one is a handguard. It provides defense. And this one is almost looks like a staff. Now, depending on which one you get will indicate a power boost indicated to your characters depending on which one you pick. For example, if you pick the middle one, you will get an extra defense point than usual. If you pick this one, as in the staff one, you get a magic point. However, I'm going for the, st for the standard offense one. Why not? You have to go... Yeah, there you go, see? Morale has increased, you got strength plus one. So now, later on, when we get Sora and everyone else, we will get an extra point of strength to all three of them. Boxes, focus. Yeah, don't tell me to focus. You know damn well I focus. Except when it comes to something being harsh. Anyway, here, here's how the standard battle system works. The green bit round each character's face down there where the arrow is pointing is hit points. Obvious what happens when you run out of hit points. The blue gauge is magic power, or MP. It has a power, but we'll get to that at a later day. Okay, all you ha when you approach a target, you get an orange target mark to appear. So all you have to do is approach and attack him. Like this. That's it, there you go. After hitting an enemy with one simple attack, you can continually do it to combo. And if you attack at the same time as an enemy, Come on. you'll parry it. Playing around and fight. Ooh, finally, we gotta go do something. We gotta do some fighting! Fighting! Now here's our first boss. It's Cypher. I don't know if you classify as a boss or not. Cypher has a hundred hit points and only has his two attacks. An aerial attack, which can do some massive damage, or he has a simple combo like you. Like, uh, that's the aerial attack. And I'm getting my ass kicked. Oh wait, no, there's the aerial attack! Oh, I could shut you up! Like this, now! That's all it takes, just a couple of swings, and you get him. And that's Cypher taken care of. Huh. Cypher's not feeling so hot, you know? Tournament decides. Oh, we'll let the tournament decide. Ooh, say cheese! Cheese! What the f- What the- What? What was that? The thief? Must be the thief! Except, why was he wearing a hood? Oh my god! It's a gangster! <laughs> uh, no offense, no offense. I, I particularly quite like wearing hoodies, so I can't say much there. What is that thing? 
I mean, I know what it is, but do any of you guys know? Anyway, I, the next part of the storyline is to follow it. See, you can see it there flying at the top of the screen. And I know where it's going, I can just go straight on ahead. It heads to this mysterious little area at the end of the woods. And, oh goody, he's there. Now, once you press triangle, you're going to have to go straight into a fight. So make sure that, obviously, you know, you psych yourself up and do whatever. Now this is another tutorial battle, but it expl uh, it's going to help you re learn about the reaction commands. Hey, why don't you say something, you... My liege? Huh? Uh. Oh, that was nasty! But it knows Roxas? Right! I can tell you this guy, this is a dusk! It has 32 hit points, and is pretty easy to sort of defeat. All you have to do is attack- oh, what? What do you mean? What? what? No damn it. What? Why are we not doing anything? Yeah, if you press the reaction command, you'll do a few dodges. Oh, no. Just continue- yeah. Uh, th this first bit, don't worry about not doing any damage to it, because it's all part of it. I think. It's no use. The club's not doing anything. We're in trouble. Wait! What? What is this? Thing? A keyblade! Oh ho 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 ho! Now we've got a fight! Come on! Okay! Okay! Battle! Take two! Action! Okay, it's the same thing as before, but this time you can hurt it! Yeah, easy ways, when it comes sweeping in, you can dodge it with a KICK! And voila! When you defeat an enemy, you get orbs. Obviously, depending on which orbs you get, you get yellow orbs which give you money, they look like diamonds. Green orbs restore your hit points, the bigger the orb, or, yeah, basically the bigger the orb, the bigger the boost. And sometimes they do drop items which look like little treasure chests. Hey, so it was the thief! And there goes the Keyblade. It's gone! Who could have stolen my pretty little Keyblade? Well, at least we got the photos back now. Surely that's all. Right? Okay, let's, uh... And the gang's all here now, and they're looking at the photos. What's this? I was his first customer after he took over the shop. So we took a picture <laughs> together. It's a really nice photo. Oh! Hey! You so that was the word! Hello, Roxas, tell us about the picture thief. Not much to say. The pictures were just lying there. Then how do we prove we weren't the ones who took them? That's an interesting fact. It's a girl. Ooh, that's the accessory shop owner. So, like, anybody else notice that all the stolen pictures are of rocks? Ah. Oh. So that's why everyone thought it was us. And Cipher didn't go around accusing us after. Maybe so. Are they really all? Okay, ready? let's have a little yeah. look. Let's see. see. That's with the old lady there. Rox is getting his ass kicked, and everyone right. in front of the mansion. Wouldn't it be weird if the thief <laughs> wanted to steal the real Well, it did say they knew who it was. God, get serious. Why would anyone want to steal a bonehead like <laughs> Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, that's it for this episode of Kingdom Hearts 2. So, tune in next time when we're going to continue through the rest of this. Who was that mysterious thief? And what's next for us? Well, tune in next time to find out. This is Christopher Brown 1988 signing off on Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 2. Catch you all later. Woohoo!